Hey guys, this is Joseph from Play Tennis and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a question that I get from some of my beginner students. They go, Coach Joe, why are you telling me to stay low? So in today's video, I want to share with you why it's important to stay low in tennis, what are the benefits of doing it, and what are the best ways of doing it. So firstly, I'm going to give you the three key points on the benefits of staying low. Key point number one is it's going to help you maintain your balance. Think about it. If I was standing very narrow with my feet close together like this and stretching my neck up, standing very tall, okay, I might have some extra height standing like this. However, think about it. If someone was to like push me a bit, I would fall off balance very quickly, okay? Well, if I take a wider stance and I stay lower, I've got better balance. If someone's to try and push against me, they're going to struggle to knock me over. Okay? And the reason that we want to do this is because balance is one of the most important things in tennis. And well, I think in most sports, right? So if we're constantly falling off balance with bad stance, then it's going to be very tough for us to get into position consistently to execute good shots so maintaining balance is very important and by staying low and taking a wider stance we're going to be able to keep our balance way more effectively key point number two or advantage number two of staying lower is you're going to be quicker more explosive so if i take a wider and lower stance bend my knees stay on the balls of my feet I'm going to be a lot more explosive off the mark. So if I'm quicker like that, I'm going to be able to chase down more balls. However, if I was standing with a very narrow, upright stance, I'm not going to be as explosive. And the third advantage is we're going to be able to generate more power on our ground strokes. The reason for this is we're taking a wider stance we're closer to the ground, we're lower, okay? And therefore we're engaging our leg muscles, which tend to be our larger muscle groups. And we're gonna be able to push off the ground and rotate into the shot more effectively when we stay low, okay? Again, if I was upright and not engaging my leg muscles, then I'm fully depending on my upper body to create the power. So by getting low, we're engaging those leg muscles, pushing off the ground, rotating into the shot with more power, and therefore we're going to generate more pace and spin on our shots and give our opponent a tough time. So to recap on the three advantages to staying lower or closer to the ground is you'll be more balanced, you'll be quicker, and you'll be more powerful. So all very positive things. And in order to do these effectively or stay low effectively, I just want to share with you some three, another three key pointers on how you can go about doing this. So firstly, bend your knees, all right? By bending our knees, we're engaging our leg muscles, okay? The nice glute muscles. And again, in this position, almost like a sumo position. You see Djokovic do this quite often when he's returning. Okay? We're just gonna be a lot more explosive, okay, off the ground. And on top of this, the key point number two is we want to stay on the balls of our feet. We don't wanna be adopting the lazy stance where we're on our heels leaning back. Okay? Stay on the balls of our feet, on our toes, so we can leave the ground quicker and pounce on any opportunities that we get. And the final key point is using small steps in your movement when you're dealing with nearby balls. Now, of course, if your opponent sends you far out with a very good shot that has good angle, chase it down with your full stride. But as you get nearer to the ball or if you're dealing with shots that are not too far away from you, try and use small steps in that low position. 
So imagine if I was in a very upright, high posture and taking long strides to get to the ball. And let's say the ball landed around here. And I take long strides. Okay, of course I'm exaggerating here. But if we take long strides on a nearby ball, there's a higher risk of us overstepping the ball. For example, right? If I overstep the ball, I'm going to be out of position, not going to be able to hit a good shot. However, if I focus on getting in that low stance, that very dynamic athletic stance on the balls of my feet, ready to explode left or right, okay, and I take small steps, small explosive steps to the ball, it allows me to make last moment adjustments before I commit to the shot. Okay, here. Okay, boom. Okay, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I got a good workout there. So, key thing to take note of is staying low, explosive on the balls of your feet, taking small steps on nearby balls so you can make those minor adjustments before you commit to the shot. Hope you found the video useful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe.